All right. So as we defined the class just now, okay, finally for this uh, the class this morning. So the PDS this one represent by pressure drop, and we have done the calculation in the class where we know that the PDS equal to two tau over radius. All right. So we already developed two steps. So and also if you recall back your <coughs> shear stress in mechanical science five, where we know shear stress equal to mu du dx. Well, d, what is dv dx? dv divided is your velocity gradient. Is your velocity gradient? And as you can see, here I'm gonna put equation one. And you can see equation one here. Here you have a tau. So it's the shear stress. The shear stress. This one is will develop from resistance of the foot uh, feet uh, moving. And then here is your a normal shear stress calculation. We see if you recall back. Remember linear, and then here is your u, and here equal to zero due to no slip condition. So how we actually want to combine equation one with your equation 2. First of all, we rewrite this one, equation 1, in terms of shear stress. But you know, right, T is equal to R divided by 2 dP dx. Fantastic. And remember R, why R? Because it's still variable R. We're not talking about R at the wall. Main wall equation 2 is already in shear stress equation so i can say as well uh, what i can say is mu what i can say what i can develop from here mu gradients velocity gradients hang on it's not function to my velocity gradients equal to r over 2 dp dx perhaps not clear clearer so i'm gonna go right in this down so so again mu okay du dx velocity gradient equal to radius divided by two and this one dp dx is your velocity pressure loss okay so basically, you develop say that the shear stress, the shear stress condition, and the pipe moving. Okay. So, and now we continue the second part. So let's script it out. Script. Okay. All right. I can also say that today, the ultimate for today class is let me see. All right, so continue today. So this is the outcome for today. The outcome today is for you to able to derive a condition up to hagen pusser's law. So hagen pusser's law, we ultimately will um, come up with the derivation by Q. Q is your flow rate. If you forgot, is D equal to dV dt. So I will increase back. All right, so how to do it. So basically, again, I do it this much, much more easy way. And ultimately, going to have some. So, this is a flow. Which one? Ultimately, this one is your L. Okay. And as you know, you have a depression of pressure. So, so basically, I'm going to put here. I can put like this. P plus depression of pressure. As you know, P at entrance is much more greater than P1. So, I'm gonna put it something like that. So back to first law to um Newton's second law. As we know, F is equal to M A and I explain it. I'll just have the do we have the same momentum? Yes, we have the same momentum. And acceleration, do you have acceleration? No, we don't have acceleration, but the fluid is just moving. So ultimately, after you balance it, it's equal to zero. Okay. All right, so basically you have force from pressure. What is this? Diffusion pressure times pi 
R square is a false. So this is uh, because basically what I want to know the depression pressure from entrance minus exit. Okay, so basically already uh, equal uh, balance it up. You have this one is your pressure and this one is your cross section area, cross section area from which part here? This cross section area and here and now I'm divided by R again. Call like this. So from center to R, this one we call it variable R. And meanwhile, from center to here we call it capital R or at wall okay and then we need to differentiate it so this one you establish this one you establish the force friction okay and now we are about to establish the second one we call it as force viscosity so it's equal to mu the coefficients 2 pi r l dv dr so some book derive it as dvdr or some book even derive it as du dr so i will stick to du dr All right so what is this du dr this one again this one is your velocity distribution to your resistance and this one is your mu 2 pi r l why is l is due what is l due to the length Here. we define it by l divided by l length okay all right so as we know as i said f equal to ma so basically f v equal to f p all right so f v equal to mv so and then so basically mu n 2 pi r l du dr is equal to changes of p pi r square pi r square all right and then i want to make it this one is in term of velocity so where i can say du dr is equal to changes of p pi r square divided by divided by mu 2 pi r l okay and then so i make it basically again i make it this one in term of changes velocity so we're going to put here in terms of velocity changes i'm going to put just a keyword here velocity changes all right and then we simplify it so dash dash so what else i can simplify it okay i think so it's du dr is equal to a p all right to mu l and then bracket with r okay, got that right and now from this part I want this only to put it, determine the velocity. I want to make it derive it and the velocity, not as a velocity changes, the velocity gradient. So I'm gonna put it determine the velocity. So I'm changing this equation. I'm changing this equation here to velocity. Alright, so very simple equation. All right. So we shall know the, the dv is equal to changes of p because it's a constant. Mu changes r. If no, sorry, this one capital R and this r and this one zero. This one is v. I will explain to you later on why is that changes. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Something get wrong. Let me let me let, let me figure out. It. All right, sorry about it. All right, so since I'm changing scale, remember I said in the class, in the beginning, the is your laminar float when R wall, your U equal zero. 
when r l center small r you have your view value so basically i want to define this one in velocity so this one zero zero because it's r on the top one so basically that's why here is capital r small r and here you have r dr okay all right which is and then this one is a v why is v is because this small r and small r come up to here you still have the value okay and then therefore therefore i go r. velocity in terms of r changes of p to mu l and it's a range right now capital l minus r so it's actually this equation is under a range why is a range it's a range between a small to r wall so this is your where is your r wall okay and shall we and we will continue from here again let me put it on top okay and then and then and then i did say that this equation hagen Purcell, Purcell, is actually you want to know your q you want to know flow rate and this flow rate will define in dv dt where you know as well this one is equal to v da and what is your a a is your pi pi r dr yeah so that is your a so basically i will to find this in my v d is my v equation where is my v equation so basically this is my v equation so basically therefore okay therefore continue from this equation right continues from this equation from this equation okay, i'm gonna rewrite again we are equal to changes of p to mu l capital l minus small r voila okay and then i want to change it to dvdt so basically dvdt is equal to v d a so what is my v d a is equal to u r 2 pi r d r and then is equal to again this one v by the radius so a p where is my is 4 mu l so how about Okay, and then okay. R2 minus R2 2 pi R D R. Okay, and then from here is much more simple. From here is much more simple. So we know that is pi A P 2 mu l r 4 2 minus r 4 4 oh this one is capital r equal to pi chinese of p 2 mu l r and you solve it no it's here here is eight p is r four so it's equal to your dv dt so if i rewrite it it's much more nicely q is equal to dv dt where is equal to pi changes of p r for it mu l 
So basically, this equation says that in order for me to determine Q, the relations between the changes of P with your R and with your mu, obviously, and with your the line. So I can rewrite this equation and Q is equal to changes R for 8 mu 8 mu L P1 minus P2. Why? Because changes of P is equal to P1 minus P2. It's simple as that. So this one is equation to be developed when I got when I got Q with radius. So say that your calculation instead of the radius to give you diameter. So actually it can be push D four one two eight mu L P one P two. Okay. Alright. So that is the question and then that's it.